Hey there, welcome to the old computer museum channel and this is another game for the uh, Sega Genesis. This is made by Virgin Games. It's a 1993 uh, game, actually has many re release dates depending on um, where, what console you're using. This is the Sega Genesis uh, version of the game. And, uh, well, basically, cool spot for those who don't know, because you see there's a kind of a soda bottle here. Cool spot is uh, a mascot that uh, was for 7-Up, the, the, the soda 7-Up, in the late 80s. And the red spot logo on the 7-Up um, was then given arms, legs, a mouth, and sunglasses. And uh, Virgin Interactive decided to do a platform game starring that 7-Up mascot. Now here you had instructions on what to do and what not to do. And so basically you control that little red spot and uh, have to, uh, you know, go through what is basically a platform game. So there are things you should do and things you should not do, of course. This game was available on the Sega uh, Genesis Mega Drive, Sega Master System, Game Gear, the Amiga, the Super Nintendo, Game Boy, and even the DOS version for the PCs where it was made of this game. And the different dates of uh, release are from June 93 for the Genesis, and uh, you've got uh, MS-DOS and Amiga and Game Boy that had 1994 as release dates. So basically we'll start the game here. And here is a little chart of what to collect and what not to collect. And so you follow these, you collect these little red dots. Uh, good, one up. Uh, bad, the little mines. And of course, um, you gotta release some of your little red dot friends. So here we go. So basically, you can shoot, you can jump, and so you need to go. Try to avoid touching any of those characters, of course. As you see, if you touch characters, well, well sometimes As you can see, there's lots and lots to uh, to be careful about and lots to look at to play this game. So uh, it's always, <laughs> and especially because you can't see where you're jumping very often, um, you need to actually kind of take a look at what it looks like before going to an area. And here we'll continue on our journey. See, there's lots of creatures at certain points, so you gotta really be careful. And so here I die again. Not really good, as you can see. Um, now, what do I think about this game? Um, this, of course, is a cool spot for those of you that uh, just don't remember what the name of the game um, it is nice uh, is it really fun it's kind of a little something's missing it's a it's a platform game but there's something not quite cool about it um, but yet it's a nice little effort now There's kind of a sluggish feel to the game. 
um, and I've actually looked at lots of the um, I've looked at lots of the forums talking about him, and um, you know the, the the overall score for a cool spot is about, um, and that's for almost every platform around five or six out of ten, and um, well I'll give it a six. It's an okay game, nothing really fantastic about it, but um, well you know it is a platform game. Platform games are always at least a little bit interesting. And so, uh, Cool Spot is playable, it is interesting, but it's not really the best platform game I've ever played. Um, it's interesting also that they've uh, used a mascot from a soda drink uh, without really revealing the uh, soda itself, probably not to pay royalties for it. And so this is the Sega Genesis version of Cool Spot, and it's on emulation on an iPad. So what you're watching here is the iPad screen with an emulator. So if you have an iPad, uh, don't go to the App Store. That's not where you'll get it. You have to jailbreak your iPad, and then you'll be able to actually um, get the Sega emulator, uh, Sega the Genesis emulator for your iPad. Um, lots of different levels though on this uh, game that are all unique and very different. Uh, that's probably one of the uh, positive sides of this game. So if you enjoy uh, emulation, if you enjoy old games, consoles, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed all the videos are online. And if you have any comments or questions, or maybe you've played this game and have some memories of playing it, let us know. We'll try to uh, and we'll uh, uh, share those stories with us. If you have a uh, request of a game you'd like to see, let us know. We'll try to put it online. And um, if you uh, want to see more, there's lots of videos online of real machines like the Amiga 500, the Atari ST, and lots of emulation stuff like the Atari 2600 VCS, the Sega Genesis, the Super Nintendo, the Commodore 64, and uh, we'll try to get more and more real machines as time goes by. So thanks for watching and hope you'll come back to the old Computer Museum channel. Bye-bye.